Hello. There are times when I look at the uh, different YouTube uh, commentators that talk about their schools, and they either will um, give a very rosy picture of the institution where they're working on their degree or education from, or they'll talk a lot of trash. And in my experience, usually when, it, when you talk about an institution, it is usually somewhere in between the two. So I'm going to talk a little bit about my experiences with um, my with doing a online program with Liberty University. Now my experiences are not to be generalized, but my experiences are probably a lot closer to the average. But before I start talking about the uh, my experiences, I want to give you a little bit of a background of who, uh, what Liberty University is and the difficulty to get in. So we're going to do a bit um, bit of a search, and we're going to. Okay, excuse me. Reviews. Sorry. Okay, we're going to go to. Um, at niche.com first and what we're going to what one of the things that I want to share with us is share with it is the um, overall niche score for Liberty University and they're saying it's an A minus A minus in academics a in diversity, A minus in athletics, B in professors, which personally I would uh, disagree. A plus in dorm, student life is A, value B minus, campus is A plus, but it, it should be when it's uh, just uh, when a lot of it's going under for uh, major building projects. Party scene C minus, I would love to see that lower, but that's my personal B minus on location, A plus on campus food, A plus on safety. Yes, there there is a lot of things there. Now, the acceptance rate that Niche gives for Liberty is thirty percent. So. You'll have that. But that's niche, niche's own thing. I don't want to just leave it at niche. I want to um, give you some data from a couple other sources that I know of. Um, Unigo, um, dot com Actually, we're not going to use Unigo, but that's because it's not giving me enough to work from. So we probably will go with U, uh, U.S. News. U.S. News lists um, uni um, Liberty University as a tier two uh, institution, which is a pretty good uh, indicator. 
of it being high quality, although not Ivy League. So that is one thing which you do want to know about. Uh, as the U.S. News, I got that from there, and we'll go to uh, gradereports.com. And, you know, I'm, I'm not going to um, give that that one either. Sorry about that. Um, Ed Smart. Excuse me. Now the uh, sources that I am eliminating from the only reason why I'm eliminating them is they are predominantly student reviews. I don't want to um, focus on the student review uh, situation. I want data that these groups have actually went through to try to find. So. the Princeton Review with one. I, the, uh, what I was trying to get to wasn't opening. And yes, I'm going to pull this one with a grain of salt. It is from another university. So I, it will not be completely uh, independent. Another uh, place to go to understand a school's actual standing is the data collection stuff for write my uh, write my professors. This uh, lip from right lab professors, the overall responses indicate that it is a 4.2 level institution out of a 5.0 uh, scale. Now, I'm going to point this out. Liberty University is not a university that is easy to get into, uh, even though personal review says 53%, 53%. They're getting, remember, they're slightly biased because they are Princeton. But the high school GPA is what you're really going to look at. The average high school GPA accepted is 3.52, very darn near close to a um, 4.0, and that is the 
major chunk of uh, of their uh, uh, accepted uh, students. Now, now that we went through all that, I want to point out some of my own personal things. Now, I was accepted, but I did not have a 3.52 GPA. I had like a 2.5 from high school and a 2.7. From, uh, from the community college. So I actually hoped I had community college. Another factor is how in, uh, intentional they are for support of students. There are a lot of students that will complain that they aren't to have supported. From a distance education uh, platform, where I'm going through, they have been the most supportive and most responsive of any institution I had checked out. And this is even coming from institutions that are primarily online. And this institution is beating them out on actually being responsive. Sometimes you will get uh, uh, information back that you do not want to hear. That will happen at any institution. But the guidance is such quality that you can actually manage from one to another with very little interruption on that issue. Like I had an outstanding uh, document uh, for financial aid that I needed to turn in. I checked to see, I checked with them to see if it uh, came in the office. So they said it did, it just didn't get updated in the system yet. Within a, a day or so I, later it was updated in the system and they actually emailed me recognizing that I called in concerned about that. So thinking back, that is a quality attribute. If they have enough attention to note that you sent an email or so uh, or called or something, and once it updates, they send you the notification back, recognizing that you did that. You should understand that they are trying to make sure you you get are are, are known that they, they are paying attention to you. Sometimes you'll have silly things happen, like recently. I have my AS and Office Administration from my uh, community college. I studied um, com uh, Microsoft Office applications. And there's a course called Intermediate Business Applications that requires that knowledge. The problem here was there's a prerequisite and they somehow forgot to take into account those courses fulfilling that potential prerequisite. But once I talked with them and uh, gave them a, a rationale for asking, they understood where I came from and they looked at it 
and did an override. And I am now enrolled in that course for the fall. So, there are things that are being misrepresented about Liberty University on both ends. Liberty University is not a perfect institution. In fact, in their own media, they actually don't claim to be perfect. But a lot of uh, celebrity attackers seem to think they do. But there are also um, people who talk that their education and all this wonderful. Your education, yes, is wonderful, but it is not going to be a hundred percent easy walk, nor is it going to be as recognized as like an Ivy League. City. But it is going to give you a quality leg up. 